When these anti-Nephi-Lehi's, these people who want to belong to the tribe of Nephi and the tribe of Lehi, and to be part of that religious covenant-making community, they move into the land of the Nephites, and they're given a land by the Nephites. The Nephites actually vacate land, give it to this group of pacifists who have decided to fully commit themselves to Jesus Christ. And the land gets a very interesting name, Jershon. And in Hebrew, this word literally means, actually before I tell it to you, if you have just received a land of inheritance and you want to name that land that it is a land of inheritance, you might just call it inheritance. And no surprise that the word Jershon in Hebrew means inheritance because they have now inherited this gift from the Nephites where they can prosper in the land, where they can fully experience the presence of God in their lives as they keep the commandments in the land. And that's what Jershon means. And I want you to think about today, all of us can have Jershon. All of us can prosper in our lands of inheritance by keeping the commandments, and we will have God's presence with us. Wherever you live can be a land of inheritance, a land of prospering, a land of having God's presence if you keep the commandments. And one of the most powerful ways of doing it is each week, be very thoughtful about the covenant you are making and renewing at sacrament where you are promising to keep the commandments and you'll receive his presence to be with you.